Hi, Daylene Barton here with naturalfertilityinfo.com and today's video I'm going to share with you how to make an oil using fresh yarrow for fertility. And the reason I wanted to share with you this video is because yarrow virtually grows everywhere in the United States and all of North America. You can find it in your backyard, you can purchase yarrow at your local store as a perennial and plant it in your garden or yard and you could harvest it every year. It has a wide variety of benefits outside of fertility benefits but it breaks up um, congestion in the abdomen, the uterine congestion, great for uterine fibroids. It's also very astringent and helps reduce heavy menstrual be bleeding. It also helps reduce pain and inflammation. So I wanted to share with you this wonderful video um, on how to make this oil because I love yarrow. Yarrow is one of my most favorite herbs and I wanted to share that with you. And so I hope you enjoy. This is a very something very simple that you can do at home, um, very cost effective. We want you to take part in your own natural fertility journey so that you can heal your own body and not always have to use tons of money. There's lots of simple nourishing ways out there that you can be found in our backyards to heal our own fertility. So I hope you enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Okay, so today I went and harvested some yarrow. And so here's... Um, the only flower I could find but there was a lot of little plants growing and so this is what fresh yarrow looks like and it has been drying a little bit in a paper bag and it's real feathery and yarrow is very astringent and is really great for reducing um, heavy bleeding during the menstrual period as well as regulating or bringing on menstruation it's also very um, and helps to break up congestion in the abdomen from endometriosis, uterine fibroids, ovarian cysts. So I'm going to make an oil from this. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this up smaller. And make sure as you're going through this that you're not getting any grass or other plants in the mixture. Uh, a lot of people think that flowers are the, the yarrow flower is the best, most medicinal part, but actually the leaves and stems keep very well and are a little more hardy. And so when you're making a fresh oil, what you're going to want to do is you're going to chop all this up smaller, like I said before, and you're going to want to have a glass mason jar ready. Also check for bugs. You don't want any bugs in your oil. Okay, so now that we have this all chopped up a little bit smaller so that we can stuff it in the uh, mason jar, we are going to toss it in a little bit of grain alcohol. Um, I just like to buy um, 90%, 190 proof um, Everclear grain alcohol and so you're just going to sprinkle a little bit on there just enough so that you can toss it like you're tossing a salad and what this is going to help do is preserve and sterilize the plant a little bit so that it doesn't go rancid when we're making the oil If you were just to put it in fresh without doing this, it might go rancid. Fresh oils are pretty sensitive. Okay, so once you feel like it's all tossed, then you're going to, woo, it's strong, add it to the mason jar. Okay, and because I'm making um, an oil that's going to be for topical use, which is for your skin, I'm going to put some dried calendula petals in there as well. This will also be soothing to the skin and healing for the skin. Um, I'm not only going to use this oil for um, menstrual cramps and to relieve congestion in the abdomen, I'm also going to use it for some wound healing purposes as well. So, um, 
You can add calendula if you'd like or not. It's really up to you. I'm just going to fill the bottom. Okay, so now we filled up the mason jar about, I'd say, a third full of calendula petals. And we're going to add the yarrow. My son's going to help add the yarrow. So put the yarrow into the container. Just keep stuffing it in there. Mm, you said I could do it. I know. So you got to do it quicker than that. going to keep stuffing it in there, packing it in there. All of it. Yeah, all of it. Okay. All right. We're done little few stragglers and then we're going to pour um, organic olive oil over the entire thing you're going to want to fill it all the way up almost to the top Make sure that it's completely saturated. Now, the plants may absorb some of the oil over the course of the next few weeks, and each day, if you've noticed some evaporation or that the oil's gone down a little bit, you're going to want to add, top it off with a little bit more oil. You're going to then cap it tightly. shake it up and we're going to let this sit for an entire month keep it out of direct sunlight some people like to actually put it in sunlight but um, I like to keep it just in my cupboard um, that helps for, to keep it from going rancid and then in a month you'll strain it off in a fine mesh strainer or a cheesecloth and pour it back into a different container and then you will have a topical yarrow oil mixed with calendula. And the final step before putting your oil away for the month is going to be to make sure that you label it. Labeling is very important. It helps you to keep track of when you made the product and what it is. Sometimes you start making a whole bunch of things and you forget. I hope you have a wonderful day.